Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm Nathan from the ebook reader blog. For this video, I wanted to do uh, like a comics review, comics, and there's some manga shown at the end as well um, on the Onyx Books Tab Ultra C. So this is their latest color e-reader. It's got a 10.3 inch ink screen. It's got 300 PPI for text, 150 PPI for color. So uh, first off, I wanted to show the built-in app, uh, Onyx's Neo Reader app. When you're using comic files with that, it has like the best uh, refresh. It has better refreshing than like third-party apps, so everything's you know, for the most part, nice and smooth as far as like the picture quality goes. You don't get a lot of overlapping images from previous pages. So uh, you've also got this little uh, adjustment in here where you can adjust the uh, color enhancement and you got color brightness. So you can, uh, and then you've got also got the dark color enhancement. That's more for eBooks. Like you can kind of make the text bold. It just kind of makes things too dark with comics if you crank it up too high. But you can adjust these to your preference here. Kind of enhance the color a little bit better on, you know, the Tab Ultra screen. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, the refresh quality of the built-in app, it's better than third or third party apps. Um, I'll switch over to a different comic right here. A little bit more brighter colors. Um, yeah, so I mean, it just sort of kind of comes down to whatever app you're using. You get um, more ghosting with other apps. I'll show some others here. Uh, but there's a lot of optimized settings you can mess with. Um, we'll talk about that more as well. So here's a look at the with the front light turned down. I do have the bright overhead lights to help the camera focus. Uh, I'll show it without the uh, overhead lights towards the end of the video. Um, you can also adjust the brightness by swiping up and down the right side of the screen here. Actually, you can change how uh, they have these gestures and you can set it to do, if you want it to be on the left side of the screen, you can have it do different things. Uh, but anyway, we'll talk about that a little more as well. So the, the brightness is pretty high. Um, here, here's one of the gestures. I have the right swipe gesture set up to refresh the screen. You can also have use the, uh, you know, um, option in the setting up there. And there's also a navigation control navigation ball that you can use to like refresh the screen so that can help get rid of the ghosting somewhat uh, let's load up the kindle app right now i showed this in the screen comparison video and i had, didn't really optimize it at all so there's quite a bit of ghosting and there's a lot of different settings and they're kind of confusing uh, we'll talk about that a little bit here but yeah as you can see there's more ghosting and you see the after image effects especially in the black border there um, from previous pages you can do that refresh thing like i was saying the full page refresh to clean it up um but yeah, so like if we go into the settings option here, if you swipe up from the bottom right corner, so you have these different refresh modes. HD is supposed to be the best. Um, I kind of don't see it that way though. Sometimes like ultra fast is better. It seems like there's a little bit more ghosting um, with the HD than there is some of the other ones. Um, it doesn't do the refresh after you turn the page, which is kind of weird. Um, I have this set up on my other Onyx device and you can set the page refresh and it will do it every page, but for some reason it's not working like it does on that model. So you got these different settings with the refresh modes like I was talking about in here. Uh, and like I said, with that little toggle on the top right, you can uh, enable full refresh after dragging and releasing. You got some different flickering options in here. I don't even really know exactly what these do. Uh, you just kind of kind of mess with them. It doesn't seem like it has the desired effect every time. You just kind of have to mess with these different um, refresh options. Uh, after doing this video, I show it more towards the end. I've come to the conclusion that the Regal mode seems to work best with like the Kindle app and the Comixology app. Um, it has more flickering, but it has less ghosting. It just kind of depends on what you want. So like if you have these modes, it really doesn't do much flickering, but uh, like the ultra fast is actually pretty smooth. Um, you would think it would have way more ghosting, but I don't really see a whole lot more ghosting. It's pretty smooth as far as the transitions go, but it never does that full page refresh. So you kind of got to treat it yourself uh, using one of the different methods. Um, so you can use like the guided panel view with the Kindle app and the Comixology app, the other apps that support that. So if you wanted to go from panel to panel, you don't really need to with the larger screen, of course. Um, it fits pretty well, these comics on the 10.3 inch screen. Um, but here's, the, like I was saying, with the different um, refresh modes. So we're getting a lot of ghosting here. You can obviously see in the, in the black background. Um, so yeah, you just got to kind of play with the different modes and the different settings to get the, um, refresh and you got to be careful. I keep tapping the lower right corner on this app and it hits that auto lock thing and it keeps doing that instead of turning the page. But anyway, so yeah, you can toggle through these different settings, try to get it, uh, 
to work the best as you can. And again, I think Regal works best. I don't show it here, but I show it towards the end of the video. Um, but yeah, so you got some different options as far as the refresh goes and trying to make the page look as good as it can. And you also have those like vivid and color enhancement options for third party apps as well. You can set them on an app by app basis and you can also set the refresh frequency on an app by app basis. So here's just kind of an overview look of the, you know, in the interface when you're scanning through pages and it's pretty smooth. Um, as far as, you know, having it on the fast mode or the ultra fast mode, it works pretty well. All right, so let's go ahead, go ahead and load up a different app here. I got the Comixology app. It's very similar to the Kindle app for the most part. Um, it has a little bit more flickering by default, as you can see here. Like I said, there's some different settings you can kind of work with to try to minimize the flicker and the because they want to do that page animation and ink isn't really set up for these animation features that tablets have uh, just because of the slower refresh rate of the screen. But I mean, you can use the ultra flash, it's smoother. It doesn't have the full flash though. So you kind of got to do that yourself, like I was saying earlier. But, um, and sometimes when you try to do that, it actually interacts with the page instead with the swipe right gesture. You kind of get it just right to actually refresh instead of swiping the page. So it does take a little bit of trial and error to get used to. I would think that the HD setting would be the best setting, but it really isn't. I don't know, maybe you can get the magic combination of settings right there to get it to refresh smoother. But what it does is it's refreshing before it turns the page, which doesn't even make any sense. It should refresh after it turns the page. Um, like I said, Regal, this one seems to be the best as far as less ghosting. You do get more flickering and more refreshing this way. But as you can see, there's not as much ghosting this way. It actually keeps it pretty clear. The swiping does have more ghosting than if you're just tapping because it triggers that animation sliding effect for the app. But when we're doing it this way, it's actually not bad um, as far as, you know, minimally ghosting. It just kind of depends on if you like the flickering or not. Uh, I actually loaded up a couple of manga on the Kobo app right here. I don't like the Kobo app for reading really because it's got really bare bones features, which is weird because their e-readers have tons of features. Uh, but anyway, these manga actually work really smoothly on the Kobo app for as far as refreshing goes. I mean, it's uh, pretty impressive because... I haven't messed with the settings or anything. It's kind of default and it's like refreshing the page rather well. There's not a whole lot of ghosting going on right here. It's pretty fast and smooth. And that was just with the uh, default settings here. You can kind of tweak it a little more to get it even smoother. That was with the balance setting. Uh, Ultra fast is even a little bit smoother. Doesn't quite uh, have quite the crispness as some of the other modes. But yeah, again, you can kind of toy with these settings and um, you know, just sort of get what you want to go with here. But yeah, as far as the Kobo app goes, I'm pretty surprised how smooth it refreshes. It has a minimum of flickering, minimum of ghosting. Um, it looks pretty clean, actually. So like I said, it just kind of depends a lot from app to app basis because like these, none of these Android apps are designed for ink screens. And Onyx kind of helps things out with their little optimizing options here. Um, so, you know, that's definitely an advantage. But um, still, you know, it's not going to be quite as smooth as a like an actual Kobo e-reader running in one of these books or, you know, Kobo Kindle running one of these uh, comics. But of course they don't have color. So it's a huge advantage as far as color content goes on the Onyx. Again, the built-in app seems to have the, the best refresh quality, the best, um, you know, the minimum amount of ghosting. So if you can get your comics in CBR or CBZ format, which, you know, is not going to be entirely easy to do. Everyone wants to use DRM anymore. But uh, as far as that goes, it definitely helps. Uh, using the Neo Reader app on, you know, the Onyx Tab Ultra C here. I also wanted to show the, you know, front light off uh, with the overhead lights turned off. So that's what we're going for here. Um, so with these color e-ink screens, they benefit a lot from having the front light cranked up. Definitely a lot more than regular black and white ink screens. Helps make the color stand out more. Just makes it the screen look better because they have the sort of darker quality than your regular ink screen. So this is like regular ambient lighting, the light coming through the window. Not too bright, not too dim, but that's this is more of like an actual representation of what the screen looks like, you know, in more ambient lighting conditions without a bright light. The uh, color ink definitely, like I said, uh, benefits more from the uh, front light being maxed out. But, you know, um, overall, it just sort of depends on what your needs are. Obviously, you're going to get a lot better color, color quality, like on a tablet, it's not going to have any ghosting issues, going to be quite... A, a lot smoother experience but you know with the ink screen you got a different type of uh, screen technology and you can read outside in bright light without having any issues it actually makes the screen look better the more light there is on it and unlike lcd screens where they're a lot 
you know, a lot more reflections and glare. You don't really have that much of an issue with that kind of thing on the Tab Ultra C. So that's been a look at some different comic apps, some different comics on the Tab Ultra C. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Check out the Evil Greeter blog for more information. I'll also be uploading a full um, in-depth review of this as well. And I already uploaded a uh, video with this, comparing the screen to a regular black and white screen like on the Kindle Scribe. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye.